<clears throat> All right. I think it's a little bit after 6.30, but I've been laying around all day. So, well, what I actually want to talk about in this live stream is fishing and river etiquette is what I want to talk about. Um, wait a little bit and see if some people come in. Because it's Friday. It's 6.30. That means it's live stream time. Yeah. Looks like we got somebody here. Yeah? But yeah, wait for a couple more people to get in. There's just a couple things I want to talk about as far as fishing etiquette. And Jeremy, what's happening, bud? Thanksgiving was super awesome. Had a had a really good Thanksgiving. Here's what I love about Thanksgiving. Um you get to eat just as much food the next day. So, Gavin, what's happening, man? Fishing every day. What's up, brother? Love the new logo, my friend. Yeah, everybody. I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. All right, so check it out. <clears throat> a couple things I want to talk about. Um, Topwater King, what's happening, my friend? I'm actually having, having a beer tonight. You know, honestly, I don't even know where this beer came from, but it was made in San Diego, California. But Travis Scott in the house. What's up, Scott Heads? What's up? <laughs> I freaking love that, dude. It cracks me up every time. Every time. Catfish Bill, what's going down? Um, Gavin's Thanksgiving was in like October. Whoa, lots of lots of comments. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Mr. Papa Giorgio. Met you at the tubes a month ago. Thought I would support your channel. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll be out at the tubes again on Sunday. So thanks for stopping in, man. That's cool. Man, I'm screwing everything up. Everybody say what's up to Mr. Papa Giorgio. <clears throat> Hashtag Scott Heads. <laughs> All right, so there's uh, something I just want to talk about real quick. Um, and I kind of want your guys' opinion also on, um, oh, excuse me, uh, Kelly, how you doing? Um, just fishing etiquette or river etiquette. You know, one thing I run into quite a bit is dogs. You know, um, a lot of places, you know, you're supposed to have your dog on a leash. But, you know, a lot of people don't, uh, they don't really follow that rule, I guess you could say. You know, they just kind of let their dogs run around and they don't give a shit. Which, you know, I don't take my dog fishing because he'd probably get, you know, picked up by a big bird of prey. But if you're going to take your dogs fishing, please make sure they they either stay with you or you have them on a leash. Because if you're taking your dog fishing, I should not have to tell your dog to watch out for my hook or not get tangled in my line. Anything like that. For real. It, it's super ridiculous. You know, I've never, uh, Mr. Papa Giorgio, I have never had it. And it's actually super good, man. Super good. I'm really liking it. But that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves about the river is people that bring their dogs and they don't keep their dogs like contained to their area. Their dogs just kind of wander around. And I'm, I don't know. It, it's just, it's, it really, really frustrates me. Another thing is, you know, and I know that um, you boaters probably think the same thing. Hold on. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, picking up the dog. I, I do hate when I'm walking to a fishing spot and I step in dog shit. I do hate that. 
Um, sorry, I'm trying to catch everybody's. Uh, okay, here I'm just gonna talk, talk real quick. So another thing is, you know, as fly fishermen, you know, we wade the river, we get in the river, and we fish and we walk. You know, it's kind of like boaters, you know, that are trolling. You know, what's that? What's that distance of respect that you give each other in the river? You know, what I like to do is uh, if I come walking up to the river and I see somebody in the river, I like to ask them if they're wading up the river or they're wading down river, you know, just so I know. So I can either get in in front of them or get in behind them. And I like to give a good 15 foot, you know, space in between, maybe 20 feet. Riverbend longbows. Exactly. you got to give that space because... I don't know. I found that a lot of times lately, people are just jumping right into where I'm fishing, you know, and it's, I shouldn't have to worry about if I hook into a fish getting tangled into your line, you know, I shouldn't have to worry about that. But, you know, what, what do you guys think? You know, I know that Riverbend said 30 feet, you know, for you guys that fish out of boats and you troll, how close can it, does a boat get where you start getting pissed off because they're getting too close. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> I like our rod tips to touch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jeremy and I, we don't even see each other. Gavin says 60 feet. You know, um, like I said, I've had people get in to the point where it's like you're almost right next to me and they don't even make eye contact with you because they know what they're doing is messed up, you know? So they don't even make eye contact. They just kind of, they get in and they cast. And they're like, uh, you're lying out. What's the max distance that you're whipping? Well, you know, you got to make sure that you're not in that person's drift or if they were there first, you really need to watch, um, you know, where they're starting their drift, where they're casting their line and where, where, what, you know, what their little, what their drift zone is, because it's your responsibility as the person who wasn't there first to make sure you did not get into that drift, to get into their drift or get into that water that they're drifting through. It's really important that you pay attention to that. They shouldn't have to worry about what you're doing. Well, you know, but see, the thing is, is like, for example, I'm using like Fall, Fall, Fall River as an example. It's tough, man, because it does get really busy there. And there are some spots with water that are garbage. You're not going to catch any fish. Mr. Papa Giorgio will even tell you there's spots where there are no fish, but 10 feet up river, there are a shitload of fish. So, you know, it's, well, you know, okay, Jeremy, the pond to me is completely different. The pond is small and it's, there's not a lot of good spots to fish, especially if you're fly fishing because of all the trees they have out there. You're not going to get a super good stop. Straight into your soul, Nick. Um, but like at, at ponds, you're not, you don't have those freedoms like you do in the river, that freedom of space. <laughs> Virginia fishermen, exactly, exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Um, Easy tips and tricks. I agree. And I usually do say something or, you know, it's, I'm, I'm a nice guy on the water. I, I really am. And I want people to catch fish. And sometimes I'll just get my line out and I'll just move. But <clears throat> what's going on, Jake? Doing really, really good. Gavin, thanks for stopping by, buddy. I appreciate it. 
Jeremy, have a good one, man. Event oh, God dang it, man. I am slow at this. TK, thanks for stopping by, buddy. Thank you very much. So here's something I've been researching. And um, I don't know if you guys saw my video with this thing. This little small fly grabber. Or Nick from Northwest Open Season says it's good for cleaning out your beard or mustache when it's cold and it's icy. Um, but I've actually been researching like really weird fly fishing tools. And some of the stuff I found is pretty interesting. And I'm actually going to buy some stuff to show you guys. Because this stuff's actually kind of cool. So just really odd fishing stuff. And we're going to be doing that this winter. Um, just checking out some super odd fishing stuff. And I think it's going to be good. Well, hopefully Ryder's watching. Yes, please hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Oh, another thing. Did you guys... Okay, so... <laughs> that video I did about the pumpkin spice eggnog. Um, yeah, I, had, I did that video... He said, that is the ninja. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome, Ryder. You're the man. You are the man, Ryder. But uh, I did that uh, video about my pumpkin spice eggnog addiction. Um, I did get a thumbs down, which I'm not surprised. I mean, I the swear words, I'm sure, are the reason why I got a thumbs down. But it's all good. I don't even care. It was funny. I had a good time making that video. You know, got to try out my acting skills. Let's see what we got. We got a comment here. You know, Topwater King, that definitely, that definitely happens. Well, you know what? TK, you better make that video, buddy. Because I made a pumpkin spice eggnog video. And I think a couple people at the beginning of the video actually thought that I was addicted to meth or crack. Uh, realistic fishing. You are right, man. And it's it's sad. Um, realistic fishing. It's super sad that the simple things like just giving somebody space or... You know, some people actually watch um, people fishing, and then as soon as they catch a fish, they, boom, dive in that spot. And that's stupid. That sucks um, that they do that. But there are those people. And, you, you know, we... It, it's really easy to step on somebody's toes down at the river, but... Oh, do, do, do. Do, oh man, sorry. I totally missed it. Awesome, man. Heck yeah. Easy tips and tricks. Thanks. Thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. I have never fly fished Montana. I have not actually even been to Montana since I was little. So. Oh, TK, that's crazy, man. That is insane, throwing one ounce weights at people. Maybe that's what I need. Carry some big weights with me. Uh, no, I'm not making the pumpkin spice eggnog from scratch. I actually got it from Albertsons. I can't even imagine making something like that from scratch. Mm. 
realistic fist. Fi real oh God, that was almost an horrible slip up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, the wildlife, exactly. Uh, realistic fishing. He's actually, I think he's from my area because he said he met me down at uh, Fall River. But <laughs> let's see here. Um, KMB, do you even know what I almost said? You, I know you, you have to know what I almost said there instead of realistic fishing. Oh my God. You know, and Jake, I'm the same exact way. You know, you guys know I don't hide anywhere um, where I fish. So I don't, Kevin, I can't stop laughing. Um, you know, I don't hide where I fish. And there have been times where I go to fish a spot that I like and there's people there and I just move on. You know, there's I could fish there another day. So, you know, you got to. Res you don't have to respect people's fishing spot, but you need to respect their space. So, ASAP Fishing, what's going on? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, Kevin, that was... Uh, um, I almost said, so I oh got, I can't believe I almost said that and realistic fishing is an awesome channel. And I almost totally, okay. So casual Carolina's in the house. That's when you see somebody catching fish and you pull up beside them so you can catch some too. Right. Yeah. But you say, do you have any gray poupon as you pull up next to them to fish? That's proper fishing etiquette. You know, I, I've had people walk up to me and go, hey, man, do you mind if I fish right here next to you? Because there's a lot of fish. And I'm like, no problem. You know, they don't just dive right in and just go for it. You know, they actually ask you if it's cool. And that's awesome. You know, but lately I've been getting people just boom right in there. Um, <laughs> thanks, Kevin. <laughs> But dogs are my biggest thing. I just, I don't know. The dogs just running amok is the one thing that drives me absolutely nuts. Hey, you know what? I, I've got to come up with something, you know. John Isabella, what's happening? <laughs> Kevin, oh my God. Well, there we go, Nick. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, wow, man. You know, it's not even the barking thing, you know. It's just when they're walking around my feet and everything like that. Riverbend, long bows, 18-inch brown. Yeah, I I would be pissed if someone was compromising me catching an 18-inch brown. You know, uh, Jake, I completely agree. Absolutely. And uh, fishing every day... Um, said, why would you do that? I don't know what that meant. I'm not sure who you were uh, commenting to. <clears throat> yeah, Tim, <laughs> just start carrying a mace with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, somebody just uh, co uh, commented on one of my videos. It was funny.
you know, I've been out trolling with a buddy of mine out on a lake, and it blows my mind. You could tell that we're trolling for fish. And next thing you know, these speedboats just go flying by and make this huge wake. Um, you know, where I go down at, uh, um, where, oh, sh Jesus, fuck. Oh, I'm playing with this thing, and that little hook right there, man, that is no joke. That just, whew, okay, anyways, man, that, that hurt. Um, <clears throat> where I usually go fishing, I don't have good enough service to even come close to doing a live stream, so... I mean, I could record some stuff and then post the video, but doing a live stream, there's no way. This beer is really good. Really good. Yeah, Virginia, um, I've had that happen when I was out at some... Well, a lot of the lakes where I'm at, there's no motors allowed, so... I need a bigger bottle. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, Jake. Yeah, Jake, I totally agree. When I was a kid, I feared pissing off adults. Kids now just run that, run their mouths and, okay, realistic fishing, I agree. There's some kids that um, go to a pond where I like to catch bass, and these kids are dicks. They are dicks. Frugal fishing, what's happening, man? But, yeah, <laughs> realistic fishing, there's this pond that I go to, and there's these two kids that um, that go there quite a bit, and these kids are so, like... Here's what's funny is, okay, so their parents drop them off. They're there and they're like, shit, they're F word. I mean, they're just going nuts with the profanity. But as soon as their parents pull up, they're like, oh, daddy, mommy. It's so funny. It is great. But they are very disrespectful kids. And it's too bad that their parents don't stick around more and show them how to be a respectful fisherman. Yeah, I'll definitely make sure I turn off the camera before I kill somebody fishing too close to me. But I think, you know, I mean, but yeah, uh, it, the kids at the pond are pretty bad. Well, here's the thing. I One kid, I think he was like 17, he actually wanted to fight me. I don't understand why. He actually wanted to fight me. Um, he was like, I'm standing right here and all cocky. And I flat out told him, I was like, check it out, man. I know you're like 17. And my exact words I told him were, check it out, man. I will beat up a fucking kid. I don't care. You know, I mean, <laughs> I just told him, I said, I'll beat up a kid, dude. I don't even care. But <laughs> then he just kind of walked away and, but. I just, you know, just told him, walk away, dude. Walk away. Yeah, we'll start, I'll start doing some filming of people just like moving right into my spots. I'll have to get a tripod all set up. You know? <clears throat> like this, Tim B said he'd like to see me in a steel cage match with Robbie. <laughs> I don't know. Robbie's pretty fit, man. He could. Pro he could, here's. I don't know if Robbie could outpower me, but I know he could definitely outlast me, because he's in super good shape and I'm obviously not. So I think I would get winded and tired way before him. Ah, fishing every day. Thanks for stopping in, bud. Um. Uh. I do. I definitely think. Uh, Robbie would outlast me and I'd get so winded and tired that then he'd have me right there. So it would probably be interesting for a few minutes.
Ah, <laughs> Nick, yeah, my crabbing secret bait. You know, I try so hard to not be like all confrontational and stuff on the river. I really, really do. And a lot of the reason why I just try to be respectful and not, um, uh, like, uh, approach people or get mad or angry at people on the river is because of my YouTube channel. I, you know, I think that's something that could actually kind of hurt me, but I don't know. All right, TK, see you in a bit, bud. I don't know. I do kind of worry about that, like, but at the same time, you just can't. You, you can't really worry about it. Anyways, um, this Sunday, this Sunday, uh, I don't know if Frugal Fishing is still in here, but Fishing the Odds and Frugal Fishing will be coming over here to my house to do some fly fishing at Fall River. So that's going to be super awesome. That's going to be really awesome. So it'll be cool meeting those guys. Yeah, I mean, and plus, a lot of the people I fish around at Fall River are a bunch of geezers. So, you know, but they, the geezers, man, they, they get pretty serious about their little fishing spots there. Man, territorial. Hell. Nice, man. I went and picked up a few today. Um, but... Yeah, frugal fishing. I went and picked up a few flies at Sportsman's today. Um, Tim, I do try to fish during the winter. I really do. But as soon as we start getting some snow, I'm kind of screwed. I mean, it's just, and it gets so cold. Let's see. Easy two trip, trip, oh my God. <laughs> Tips and tricks, thanks for stopping by, bud. I appreciate it. Maybe I need Ryder with me, you know what I mean? Thank you, thank you. Tackle shop in Oregon City shutting down. That's too bad. I actually stopped in that tackle shop. Is that the one up on top of the hill? Um, isn't it over by the butcher place in Oregon City? I think there's a tackle shop right there. Hell no, Kevin. Hell no. Texas bow hunter, what's happening, man? Well, you know, Texas bow hunter, you may be late, but you didn't miss much. I've been just rambling. But, yeah, I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. I know I did. So, yeah, the only um, bait shop that I know of in Oregon City is up there by that butcher place. Um, so that's the only one I know. And I think that's a bait shop right there. Um, there's like a little mini mart and then, um, a butcher and then the bait shop, I believe. I don't know. I could be wrong, but it's my parents live right by there. Oh, is that it? Yeah, my parents live right by there. You can almost see my parents' house from that place. So. Ooh, I just went silent, didn't I? Dead air, dead air. Um, but, yeah, I... Yes, right across from Freddy's. Exactly. Yeah, that's right by my parents' house. I actually went in there once and uh, talked to them about fishing down there in Oregon City. And they didn't really want to tell me much. Uh, Gizmo is actually sleeping in my chair right now, Kevin. He, um, uh, 
enjoyed a big old bowl full of whipped cream today and some turkey and some ham. So now he's just sleeping. Uh, what am I drinking? Okay, so I don't drink beer very often. And this, I don't even know. It's called Modern Times Beer. It's made in California. It was in my fridge. I think it's been in my, fr my fridge for almost a year, I think. But I saw it in the fridge and figured, why not drink it during the live stream? It's aged to perfection. No, it's not a bottle of bourbon. No. I think I'll probably have a beer every live stream every Friday. I think that's what I'll do. So, let me see. I have some t-shirts coming just to see what they look like. I have a hoodie coming to check that out. Um, some stickers. You know, Travis, it's good. It's actually pretty good. So why don't we do that? <clears throat> um, Friday nights during my live stream, everybody who drinks beer, let's all have a beer together. Friday nights, 6.30 West Coast time. Let's do that. That'll be us, all of us friends and family or whatever, just sitting around drinking a beer. I think we should do that every Friday. Well, Travis Scott, you get yourself an O'Doul's or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man, there's only 10 people left in here. I don't blame them. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, Frugal, I figured you were having a beer. Yeah, root beer will work if you're a... Uh, um, never mind. <laughs> well, I tell you what, Sunday before Frugal Fishing um, heads out of town, we're definitely going to go get ourselves a beer. For sure. We'll just go to a uh, uh, 10 barrel right here by my house. So, my record number of a, uh, 25 is the, I, 25 or 27 is the most I've ever had to chat. And that's when I was doing my live streams, you know, last year. Um, like 24 or 25 was the most I ever had in the chat. Or 25 or 27, I can't remember. Gavin used to really. Um, pay attention to my live stream numbers. He used to be pretty good about letting me know how many people were watching and what the most amount of people I had in the live stream. Mm -hmm. Gavin was really good about that. Oh no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Look at this. Look what it says. This beer is vegan. Ugh. Damn it. Dead. That would be good, man. Oh, a shot for everyone in the chat. Could you, Im man, could you imagine me doing these live streams all messed up and drunk? Ooh. You want to talk about some profanity coming out? Oh, man. That would be insane. How the hell do you make it vegan? Um, uh, maybe, maybe when they were brewing it, they put some uh, skinny jeans on it. I don't know. But, yeah, black magic. It's vegan, vegan beer. You kill some vegans and brew them. Well, it's not that hard to kill them. You just, you know, they're all malnutritioned and shit. <laughs> K and B. Oh, oh. All right. The real Travis Scott is out of here. They left the bacon fat out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> vegan beer god I think I feel boobs growing I don't know <clears throat> let's 
too bad. It's too bad. But, yeah, so like I said, Sunday is going to be a lot of fun. Sunday's going to be a good time. Got fishing the odds and frugal fishing coming over here. My buddy Jeremy's going Sunday. I'm going to find out if my buddy Vicente is going to go on Sunday. Probably me, Tim. <laughs> Probably me. I'll be I'll be on here with zero uh zero people watching and <laughs> Nick, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I know I can't. I haven't been in the skirt for a while, you know. I need to bring out Misty Rain. You know, bring out my Misty Rain alter ego in the skirt. It was a lot of misty rain today outside, let me tell you. <clears throat> but my beard is the yeah. A wading skirt. <laughs> yeah, Tim, I need a wading skirt. I could join the female angler. Yes, Misty Rain. Misty Rain, Nick. Come into the stage, Misty Rain. Yeah, never gets old. That's right. That's right. And what was the other one? Um, one perch? Something like that? One perch or something? I can't remember. <clears throat> I have a lot of gang names. You know? Helps me stay affiliated with more, most gangs. Yeah. Uh, first perch. Yeah. Well... Jake, that's not bad. Family road trip. One day and eight hours. <clears throat> yeah, that's right, Texas bow hunter. I got street cred as Misty Rain. <laughs> Misty Rain. God, Nick, that was so funny. That was so much fun. Ugh. First perch. Anyways, um, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> well, Texas bow hunter, I'm glad, man. Because I was actually going to get off here like 10 minutes ago, but then Misty Rain came up and you can't just bail out, you know, when Misty Rain comes up. Uh, let's see. Talked about I'm getting some, I'm getting some T-shirts and a hoodie with my channel name and stuff on it. Um, trying out some different stuff. The hat thing didn't really go great. Um, so <laughs> dude, Nick, you and I had a blast that day. That was so much fun, man. So much fun. So, oh, I, I fishing with Nick. That was such a blast. You can't pull out of Misty Rain, no. I don't have stickers yet. Uh, that would be exercise equipment back here. Yep, that's right. <clears throat> exercise equipment in my house. <sighs> All right, Jake. Thank you. Thank you very much, buddy, for stopping by. I appreciate it, Jake. The wife uses it, Tim. I don't use it. I think it looks dangerous to me. So, thing looks really dangerous. Yes, Nick, definitely you do. Definitely. God, it was so much fun. I had such a blast. Anyways, I'm almost 40 minutes into this. <laughs> All right, Tim, later. Yes, Nick, that's exactly what it is. It is a gazelle. My wife freaking loves these things. We drove to Prineville to get it. So she found it online and we drove to Prineville to get it. So... 
I think the thing that does not look safe at all. This thing does not look safe. Uh, Kevin, and when have you ever been good? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is my uh, trophy gazelle right here. Um, went to Primeville, killed it. Uh, no, we actually bought it from a farmer um, who also raises dogs. A farmer who raises dogs had this laying in the dirt, and we paid $15 for it. So, <clears throat> um, I still can't, KMB man, I can't get it out of my head what I almost said about Realistic Fishing's name, what I almost called it. Oh my God. Ugh. Got musky Hans hair going on. Anyways, I think I'm going to get off here and go spend some time with the wife. I am done rambling. I'm out of beer. So let me say this. Next Friday, 6.30, we're just going to talk about random shit, and we're all going to drink a beer or a root beer or some of that crazy pickle juice or whatever they call it that KMB drinks. Um, and let's do this again next Friday. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it again. Fly Fishing Ninja. Who look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two liter J for the real world wide hoodster. You look like an albino Shaquille O'Neal. What the fuck does that mean? What? Like an albino Shaquille. I am five foot ten. Albino Shaquille O'Neal. I don't know if that's an insult or really funny. I don't know. Maybe next week that's what we'll have to talk about is why that guy thinks I look like an albino Shaquille O'Neal. You know? Oh, so compared to you, I look, I'm an, okay. No, I get it. I get it. You know, I get it. Um, but I got to put this thing down, man, because that freaking hook in there is a bitch. Anyways, the albino Shaquille O'Neal is out of here. Ooh, I want a cheeseburger. Okay, here's the deal. I'm out of here. I'm done. I am done, done, done. So I'm going to end it like this, this time, just for that guy. The albino Shaquille O'Neal, out.